Hello all, I'm going to explain about the melt function in Pandas under data cleaning. In the past videos or shots, we have seen getting the number of unique elements and today we are going to see where, how and when to use melt function. So as usual, we need the Pandas library and I have a dictionary converted to data frame having three columns, cars, style and rating. So melt function basically converts data frame format from wide to long. So if we simply give a df.melt, it just melts the data frame. Cars have six rows, style and rating to have six. So it melts down to 18 rows. If you want to do on a particular column alone, cars as the main index just by doing id underscore vas equals within the list cars. So it melts down for the cars with pending columns as the value variable. So the rating and style have uh, six, six values, so 12 rows. We can also drill down to specific value as well by mentioning the value underscore bias equals within the list style so it comes with only the style by default it gives the column names as variable and the value of those as value if you want to change that we can do by var underscore name equals and the value underscore name equals column name of our choice so variable turned down to attribute and value turned to out. if you want to bring back the melted data frame back to normal df already melted df is pivoted to bring back to normal structure by providing the index and columns note there shouldn't be any duplicate entries in the index here cars don't have duplicate hence melted df is success or else it would end up in an error called duplicate entries next we'll see visualization using pandas so as for now we are done with two complete topics on input output operations as well as on data cleaning more to go stay notified and subscribe for more data thanks